today we're going to be focusing on a port swigger lab on um access control vulnerability so i'll quickly explain what an access control vulnerability before we get into the hack already so guys access control vulnerabilities are the most common vulnerability discovered during web application penetration testing it's like one of the first or foremost um vulnerabilities you would find during penetration testing access control vulnerabilities occurs when users are able to act outside of their intended permission so we are saying that when a web application have an access control issue or vulnerability we are saying that a user can log into that log in into the website and do what they should not normally do like you are accessing a bank um web application you should be able to see just your account balance the the informations on your account you should not be able to see another user's maybe account balance maybe the person they sent information to if you're able to see that then that web application is vulnerable to access control vulnerability so but this lab here from potswiga this access control vulnerabilities on the admin functionality right so what this place is saying that the admin functionality is not protected so to solve the lab i already opened it in a new tab and this is what the lab looks like so but a penetration tester or one who has started out as a bug bounty hunter knows that you would want to use the application and know how it functions i'm a big fan of saying use the application it helps you understand what is happening there so clicking around i already know that this is like a shop right and uh, you can buy stuffs this is how this website is designed you buy stuff probably when you click view this um details and you pay for it it can take it direct to your payment um platform but we are looking for idols because it's a lab this is what we're looking for and uh, if we click the home page this is where we are this is supposed to be the same home page so let's click the my account and see if there is a different information we can get it is the login so is that we log in as the user but this lab is saying that we should um log in into ad into the admin portal and when we log in we should be we should delete this is it the lab has an un unprotected admin panel solve the lab by deleting the user colors so when we log in into this lab we should be able to act as the admin and delete the um user colors but looking at this it doesn't have a lot of um, information on here right so i'll start thinking what if i try to inject on since there is a slash login what about there is a path to the admin so let's see if that is possible and then we know about robots.txt where um, it indents website so what about for just okay let's check robot.txt maybe there are information is there that can help us to um, navigate our hack so quickly let's start that So I just put the robot.txt and quickly here we've gotten a path to the admin panel. Great. So we'll copy it and then come here and see if we we'll remove the robot.txt and put the path we got. If the website will release the information we are looking for oh nice we've logged in as the admin this is really an access control problem or issue because by just manipulating the url i've logged in as the admin and uh, the lab to solve it we need to delete this user let's see if it worked so we are supposed to delete this carlos user and we deleted him and we have passed 
the challenge guys thank you for um watching this video we already know the the impact of um access control vulnerabilities we can have a horizontal privilege escalation we can have a vertical privilege escalation we can read files that we're not supposed to read we can even delete users from a web server when we are not supposed to do that so guys i would want you to start hunting for access vulnerability issues and remember to drop a comment for how this video helped you thank you guys let's keep hacking